Number 70, all right, number 73, I've exaggerated the drawing a little bit. It's a roadway. The distance from here to here is 0.4. Okay, kind of got that in here. Well, now I'll just move it to the side, 0.4 feet. And the distance from here to here is 32. So the book asks, uh, find an equation for this, for this parabola. Find an equation. Um, you've actually done problems like this already. Uh, 19 and 51 would be exactly like this problem. Um, so I'll let you pause the video and go back and see if you can figure it out using number 19 and 51. Actually, it's more like 51. All right, so you're back here. So maybe hopefully you're just reaffirming that you got it right, or maybe you really don't know. In either case, we'll go through this problem and see where we're at. Okay, so the first thing I did for this problem is I picked where I wanted the origin of this graph. Uh, so this is basically just a graph, and I need to pick where I want this to be associated. Do I want it to go like that? Um, we could have it go like this. Um, it all depends on where I want my 0, 0 to be. Um, I feel the easiest way to do this problem is to have 0, 0 right here, but uh, you may have uh, went a different route. Uh, and all it's going to do is, is show you that you're going to end up with a different answer, but it doesn't mean it's wrong. So... Okay, I chose this to be 0, 0. Okay, <clears throat> so my vertex, my h, then is 0, and my k is 0. It's going down, so I already know that I have x minus h squared equals 4p y minus k. Okay, well, we know h, we know k. So our, already we're down to this, x squared equals 4 times p y. So now how do we find the p? Well, just like in 19 and 51, to find p, all we need is one point on this graph. Um, so we actually know two points. We know this one, and we know this one. If this distance from here to here is 32, and, this is, and we pick the point in the center of the road up here, okay, then this distance from here to here is going to be 16. And so this point here would be 16, comma, negative 0.4. So I can substitute that in for x, 16 squared, uh, 4p, negative 0.4. This would be 16 squared equals um, negative 1.6p. If I divide those, 16 squared divided by 1.6, I get 160. So p would equal negative 160. Putting that into the equation, I get x squared equals 4 times negative 160, or negative 640y. Um, the back of the book sets it equal to y, so it divides both, uh, both of these sides by negative one, uh, 640, so they get uh, negative 1 640th x squared. I don't mind either answer. This is how we've been doing it. This is a standard form. This is just y equals. They're both the exact same equation. So now what it says for, this is part A. So now what it says for part B, okay, now that you have an equation, um, what it says, how far from the center of the road is the road surface 0.1 feet lower in the middle than the middle? So here we got this Here's 0, 0. What they're asking is, what's this distance? Uh, let's call it x, where my y distance, my y drop, is uh, 0.1. So it'd be a negative 0.1. So how do we solve that? Well, uh, this is, that should be a distance there, but I'll just go ahead and write this y. Well, what we're going to do is put negative 0.1 in for y here, and we're going to use that to solve x. Okay, so what do I mean? I mean negative point one using our equation. In fact, I think I'm going to use this one. It's easier, the top one. So x squared equals negative 640y. Well, we want to figure out what happens to x when y is negative point one. So x squared equals uh, 64, right? Because negative 640 times negative point one is going to move the decimal one time and going to get rid of the two negative signs. So I have x squared equals 64. x then would equal 8. Okay, there's another answer. And I want you to see if you can figure it out.
pause the video, see if you can figure out the other answer. Um, or you can just let her play and it's going to be plus or minus 8. Does that make sense? That if at a distance of 8 feet, positive direction, we're going to go down 0.1, and at a distance of negative 8 feet, we're also going to be down 0.1. Because the question was, how far from the center of the road are we going to be down 0.1 feet? Well, there's two answers. We go positive 8 feet, or we can go negative 8 feet.